Hello, I'm Larry Hyde, Jr., your annual conference communicator, and I'm here with the Reverend Dr. Greg Burquist, who is uh, one of your clergy delegates from the California Nevada Conference, and uh, we're just going to talk some about what has transpired this morning and how uh, Dr. Burquist is feeling. You know, I am uh, I'm feeling hopeful. Um, it appears to me that we are trying to make a decision to do business in a radically different way. Uh, I think we're all realizing that um, parliamentary procedure and debate just as is is not moving us in the way we want to. And so I think we're choosing to find a new way through our differences, a new way through our conflicts. I think we are committing to, to dare to be in deep conversation with each other. And I think if we do that, that is where we're going to find a deep sense of hope. So I am hopeful, of course, we're going to be voting uh, exactly how we're going to do that after lunch. Uh, so I'm going to spend a great deal of uh, lunchtime in prayer as we prepare for that vote. And I know you've been a General Conference delegate uh, before, so what has most surprised you? What, what most surprised me today and, 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 uh, is the way the bishops stepped up. Uh, they heard us call for leadership. And, you know, they didn't have to respond to that call. There's nothing in discipline that says they had to respond to that call. But I think they felt our heart and our spirit. And they realized that we are a denomination that is struggling so hard, uh, you know, over issues of human sexuality and the full inclusion of LGBTQI people in our congregation, that we now need our bishops to stand up as strong spiritual leaders to guide us through this process, not to make our decisions for us, we still have to do that, but to have that strong spiritual presence, that pastoral presence to shepherd us into this conversation. And um, I was surprised by that, and uh, I can't tell you uh, how that made me feel to watch them do that. What, is, what are your hopes and dreams as we move forward? <sighs> My hopes and dreams is that we, we dare to, uh, to do it differently that we can uh, say that we've been trying to do this for the last 40 years using the legislative process, and it's not working. Um, in fact, it's not working so bad. I think it is uh, eroding uh, at the very uh, nature of who we are as a church. So we're clearly not gonna make it happen that way. So to dare to do something differently, uh, I think will provide us the hope to do the things we need to do to know how to move into the future. So, um, as I said, we're about to vote on it, to, to take that step. And so my hope is that we will, and that we'll engage it. The, in, in the bishop's message today, I thought it was really important that they were saying, we're gonna step up to lead, but the implicit message to us, maybe the explicit message is, but now as we lead, we as general conference delegates have to step up and lead as well in a really different way. You're definitely in our thoughts and prayers as well as the rest of the delegation. Thank you very much.